I think we won the first five games and uh, yeah, we did well. And then after the last uh, two games, I mean, in Boa Vista, I don't know, we didn't play as good as normally. And then uh, it was strange. I don't know if it was because we are tra- we are playing so many games with the Europa League and playing every three days, but it's not an excuse because we have the squad for it, you know. So, but I don't know. It happened. But the best thing is uh, to have a reaction, and obviously we wanted to to react uh, direct at home against um, against Braga, and uh, I think against Braga we we start to play uh, after we were uh, two three nil down. Obviously, at, as well, maybe at 3 nil. Yes, obviously, I think the three subs were good. I think not. Uh, I think Grimaldo bring uh, was good and Sefe Harris did very well when we were playing like two strikers. I think we, we when we cross, we were more dangerous with Darwin and Harris, and uh, I think it's that. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I try every time when I I play, I try to create. So this is my my thing and. Uh, Every time I give my best when I play for this club, yeah. I mean, uh, I, like uh, the coach said uh, in the previous interview that I saw that uh, we started with Ruben and Andre. And obviously, Andre got very bad injury. Ruben left. And then a new guy's coming. Not too much time to work. The, the idea of the coach, because the coach, we know, we like to play with the line very, very high of four. And if we, we don't have time to work it very well and don't do it perfectly then other teams can hurt us. Even now, we are two weeks off and everybody's in the national team. And I think uh, we need to work on that. And the new players that are coming has to, to understand the, first the, the idea of the mister. Because we play, at, we take a risk. We, we, we play one, one to man almost. So if we do the pressing and one guy doesn't do it properly, then it, it, it can hurt us. So we have to be almost perfect when we play. So... Mm-hmm. Until we, we get there, then when we will get there, I think it will be difficult for the other teams. I think when, obviously, what the feeling we have, it's when you play from Benfica, it's always when you lose one game or, or two, it's almost a crisis. But uh, I think uh, we should not feel that because obviously we, sh- we should know that the responsibility it is that to play for Benfica. We know that, that uh, we, uh, we play always to win. A draw for us is not good. We, it's like a loss for us. So... We have the, to put this mentality to the new players who are coming as well. Uh, and they are doing well. So, But we have to, to understand that uh, sometimes win, win, win. And in Benfica, it's not only win. It's win with style. But sometimes you win. You need to win even that is, you're not playing good. You have to, to win games. And that's what makes the difference. I think with the cir- circumstances, it's uh, difficult. Obviously, it was our first game of the season. We had only three weeks, I think, pre-season. And... Uh, we play away, and I think we play almost all the game in the half. The first contract they go, they, they score. It was a strange feeling, and of course, yeah, it's a big disappointment for us, for the club, for the fans, uh, because Benfica is a club that belongs to play for the Champions League. And we don't, and hopefully we will do something good in the Europa League. Uh, the way I, I think, it's, for me, it's game by game. And I think sometimes we, we see, obviously, we have our objective very high, <laughs> we, we know everything we want to win the league we want to win the Cups we, and go as far as possible in Europa League but I think the best way is to take it game by game because you don't know because in the Europa League you pass maybe the first, the first group then you have the teams of the Champions League who they are going out you need it depends of a lot of things but obviously we have the mentality to 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 do that but if we, if I tell you we will win it I can I'm not a magician I cannot <laughs> I cannot uh, say that, you know. I think Darwin, uh, we didn't know because he was playing in second division, but I think uh, we can see all the quality that he has. He works hard. We know that he's a South American player that uh, make a lot of runs, but I think with, uh, obviously, Mr. Jesus, he will become an, another player because he's working on him, on his touch, his movement, uh, everything. And I think uh, in one, two years' time, he will be one of them. I think one of the best strikers. If he keeps scoring yesterday, he scored again with his national team. So, I I think I think yes, I think uh, he's a good guy. He wants to listen. He's a hard worker. Yeah, and I think he has the potential to be a top, uh, not player like João Felix. I mean, I mean, it's not the same quality. It's different player. 
but yeah, as a striker, yes, and I think with the coach, Mister is working really hard with him to learn him his movement, he, to to play and to keep the ball better. And I think if uh, he learned that, yeah, he would be more complete for sure. Jesus is uh, another. Jesus is. I mean, everybody copy him, everybody know. But before when uh, I was curious as a guy, but the guy he knows everything. The guy I don't know. You cannot. You know, your players sometimes like always to want to say, yeah, but why we do it? He has an answer for everything. I mean, every day we do like one hour video. Not most of the time players don't like videos. When is video of I'm losing well, one hour? With him, you learn. With him, you are like, you know, you go to school and the teacher that all details, all everything. Yeah, the guy is, is football, you know. I will put him there in the top uh, of the, the coach. Yeah, definitely. Is he great? I'm, I'm not saying this. That uh, after he said, no, 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 I'm not like that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, you are, the guy is another level. I never wanted to be a coach after my career because obviously it's the same life uh, as a player, flying, uh, hotels, and uh, I want to pass more time with my family. But more you go with him every day in training, you think, oh, maybe one day I'll become a coach, you know. And I think I'm not the first. Many of guys that play with him say that. But uh, yeah, but no, but the guy is... is you know, when you said the player is crack, he's a crack. I focus on my game, but obviously, I think the last year we, me and Gabi, we were, we had a good uh, partnership because one one time we we won like 15 games, I think, mm. in the row, and we were in partnership. Obviously, Julian, he, I, I like to play with Julian. I like to play with PZ, but this is a question I think for the coach to to see what is the balance. But for me, they are all good players, and uh, obviously, when he chose the the two players in midfield, we try to. We try to, to play together as best as we can. But, uh, yeah, obviously... But it's different than last season because last season we were playing two sitting. Yeah. Now it's, it's two like this. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. one sit- yeah. So it's a little bit different. But obviously, I think in this position, it's more my position because I'm playing right in the center and I, I can found and make the play. And this year, it's, the football is for me different because... It's just game after game, and uh, you don't feel the feeling of the fans. And I think uh, football without fans is personally not affected. It's not an excuse, but obviously, when when you you play with your fans, you, I am a player that I like to feel that pressure. If you miss a pass, you see up oh, the fan, uh, oh, don't like it. Then you know now when there is no fans, you miss a pass. Okay, next one, you know. And I and I don't I don't really li- like that. So I'm a guy that hates to lose the ball, to give the ball easily away. And when I start, uh, I'm working on that. But sometimes when I lose one or two balls easy that I should not lose, then I start to to get angry against myself. And then I I, I get angry on the pitch, you know. But uh, it's more personal than uh, than thing. But I try to control because, yeah, it's uh, it's something against me because I hate to give the ball away. So when I put the ball away two, three games, two, 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 two three times, then I don't like it. So, But uh, with the coach, uh, all the time talk to me and he said to me, listen, this is where you see the difference between a top player. So a player always keep calm, you know, and try to do the right thing, not to to lose to lose control, you know. And I do this. So well, last year I played, I play almost all the season. I take I think one red card, you know. So uh, against I think say ball, that's it. I never make a crazy tackle or try to hard open. No, never. For me, when I do it, it's uh, when you you create. Uh, is it, for me, it's a dribble. Because you create, you pass the man, and then you have an advantage. So for me, it's a dribble that I learned since I am young in the street, the, in the street step overs. This I didn't learn in clubs. This is natural things that you, I was doing when I was young. So, and I have that. I have the feeling that sometimes feel like I'm going to do the pass when I see the guy. He try to anticipate, I, and I put through. I'm, I'm winning the advantage. Never to take the piece of the player. No, no for me, it's a situation of going out. Yeah, when it works, it's nice. But if you, I try. If you do it and you at some places and you risk the and you can lose the ball, then it can be dangerous for your team. So I try all the time to do it in the other half, not yeah. in my half. So and yeah, but it's natural. I don't even think about it before the game. It's when I'm playing, it, it comes natural. I'm playing in another position where where I, I lose a lot of energy of defending as well and come back to to give the balance to the team. And I am the the first guy to go to the press. To the, the guy number six and come back and sometimes to arrive in the box, I, I, I I'm when the when I come back and do, I need that. But yeah, definitely I should score at least five six goals a season minimum. Yeah, 
I love football and I watch a lot of games. And uh, my feeling is that I, the, when I started football, it was completely different because I was playing in a team that the, I was the number 10, the other guys defend, but you don't defend, you just make the difference. And I mean, now if you don't, uh, not, you don't run, you will not play. So it's simple as that. So I had to change. Obviously, when uh, Mr. Large come back and give me the chance and motivate me and this and that. And then he, he found me, he, he told me I can see you in that position because you, you read very well the game. You can find the, the pass between the lines. And then after I had to do it for him because obviously he gave me a big chance to be back playing because obviously we know the past of my career. So, and uh, yeah, I do it and I enjoy it. And uh, that's it. I like to be a leader on the way I play. I'm not a big talker because I don't like to, to talk in front of all the team, but I like to pass mes messages, you know, the, of my experience. And I like to explain to the guy one-to-one. -one. I don't like to arrive and shout on somebody or uh, I don't like this. I'm not like this. I prefer to pass the message slowly. But I think people understand this and the kids, they love it when you take them after the training, but not in front of everybody and say, next time play more simple, play two touch, get your confidence, then you do your things. You know, if you shout on him in front of the coaches and this, maybe he feels that you put him down and I'm not this guy. I will never, I don't do that. I think it will be always part of us, the biggest rival. Porting, they are, they are doing well, but uh, obviously our biggest rival for us is Porto.